Am I in focus? All right, good. What's up, YouTube? Wanted to make a quick video. I got some goodies in the mail. Your boy cashed out a little bit, and I got some stuff to upgrade my channel production, my production value, and I just wanted to give you guys some updates on my life, what's been going on, what I've been working on, and how I'm trying to make better YouTube videos for you guys and what I got in the box. So anyways, um, I guess let's do like an unboxing. So, now, I'm out here in the snow to make this quick, plus it's snowing out here, it just started snowing today. So I figured why not come outside and make a video in the snow and just spice up uh, an unboxing video a little bit and just talk to you guys. So, also, the other reason I'm out here is because if I come outside, I can make this quick, I won't rant too long, I'm already talking too much. Okay, so let's get to the unboxing. So, um, first thing I got that I'm working on is I got this monitor that I'm looking at right now uh, from Feel World. This is a five inch, I think it's the MA5. Honestly, I forgot the model number because the model numbers are crazy, but I'm working on a video for this monitor right here that I'm looking at. Uh, so stay tuned for a review for this monitor. And then I got another monitor from Feel World. This is the uh, Feel World uh, MA6 monitor, flip it around. Yeah, so uh, the MA6 monitor, I gotta work on a review for that. I'm not gonna open it yet because I wanna save this opening when I actually make a video for the unboxing, but stay tuned for that video uh, for this 5.5 uh, inch uh, monitor as well as this one that's up here. So I'm gonna set this down. Okay, so you probably wanna know what's in the box. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Got a handy whoosh, unboxing knife. Bad boy, open here. I forgot to mention when they sent that monitor, they gave me this uh, nice hoodie. Let me show you guys. Back. Am, am, I, am I in focus? I, I don't know if I'm in focus. Anyways, so I got this hoodie. Um, it's a little small though. Like, look like I'm an Avenger. Like I'm about to go out here and fight and do comic book. But you know, I'm trying to fit it. I'm trying to get nice, nice and slim for the fit. Oh boy, that belly. Um, <laughs> I made a skit for uh, Instagram using this. So uh, I'm gonna probably link it in the corner somewhere, one of these corners. So watch that, cause it's kind of funny. If you're not following me on Instagram, you should be, cause I make little funny skits and videos like that. And I post a lot to my stories. So yeah, check that out. I'm gonna link that up here and post it to a YouTube so you guys can see it. But anyways, what's in the box? Okay, so, in the box, first things first, boom, either way, it's the Nikon 35mm um, 1. 1.8S lens, uh, so I don't have any native lenses for my Nikon Z6, which I'm recording this video on. I've been using adaptive lenses. I regret not getting the kit with the 24 to 70 f4 lens because when I rented that lens with the Z7, I actually liked it a lot. It was quite a nice lens, um, but my mentality behind not getting it is because I figured, oh, I'll not get the lens, I'll save that 600 bucks, and I'll get use that for the 35 1.8. But this is around holiday time, so I ended up not <laughs> getting the lens because I spent the money on other stuff, bills, holiday gifts and all that stuff. So I never was able to get this lens. Well, it now I just now got it. And so that whole two months, I didn't have a native lens. And it would've been nice to have like a nice versatile 24 to 70 type lens for this camera to make videos with and do other kind of shoots and stuff with. Cause I've been doing like events with this uh, Z6. Um, and things like that. And I didn't have like a nice versatile lens, a zoom lens. So having an F4 lens would have been nice to have. So now I'm kicking myself because I didn't get it. And then I'm going to Vegas in a few weeks and I want to vlog with my Z6. And I don't have like a cool zoom lens to vlog with. So, and then this camera, this lens, the 20 millimeter F1.8 that I'm filming with is, it ticks. It has that ticking sound. It's like the old school motors. So when I vlog it, you can hear like little ticking sound depending on the mic and stuff. So um, yeah. Uh, if you are, haven't gotten the Z6 or Z7 and you're contemplating, just don't be like me. Get the, the, the kit lens, the 24 to 70 F4 with it and just spend the extra money and, you know, uh, 
you you won't regret having it. And then if you end up getting an upgraded 24 to 70 or something, then you can sell it to somebody else who didn't buy the lens. Uh, unless unless you already have like a 24 to 70. If you have like the Nikon 24 to 70 lens, then don't bother. But I didn't have a 24 to 70. I have a 16 to 35 2.8, but it's the old school lens. It doesn't zoom on that camera. So, anyways, uh, I also got a uh, what is it? Atomos Ninja V okay so you guys I've been wanting to I've been wanting one of these for a long time because um, ever since I've seen youtubers record their screens and record the EVFs it's been like a goal of mine to get one but for the longest time I had a DSLR so it's kind of pointless but now that I have a mirrorless camera uh, I can step up my production value in my ed educational videos and when I do like shoots and stuff now you guys can see my screen on top of that, another reason why I was like kind of convinced to get this is because the 4K uh, recording with the new firmware coming out that the Z16 can record um, 4K ProRes RAW. I think that'll be really cool to like play with and mess around with and maybe uh, go into like doing 10-bit uh, vlogs and, and 4K RAW. Uh, recording and making videos so this gives me the opportunity to like expand the type of videos that I want to make as far as like um, exploring other kind of concepts videos as far as um, color grading video for like log and raw and stuff like that I need to get a new computer my computer is pretty old I have like a 2012 uh, late 2012 Mac with an i7 processor so it's kicking along it's working this this, oh, geez, my thing. Uh, <laughs> this video is edited in 4k so uh, it records 4k videos so pretty fine but now I'm upgrading the 10-bit with raw like when that firmware comes out uh, I want to be able to keep up and so I got this to kind of uh, allow me to keep up and upgrade my you know videos and so I can explore that and talk about that so yeah a ninja V now I don't have to do any kind of ghetto uh, bootleg rig where I put my phone and hold my cell phone up behind the behind the screen so you can see my EVF now I can just hook up this to that and I don't have to hold my screen to the back of the phone anymore so uh, yeah that's pretty cool um what else is in here this is a power kit for the uh, for the Atomos so I bought the Atomos from Adorama and Adorama had a deal with you bought the Atomos for 700 bucks and then you get like a power kit with it for free so I got this too it's just basically um, two batteries two batteries with the uh, with the charger so yeah I got some batteries for that I also got the same batteries for these monitors and an SSD drive this is a uh, what is this? SanDisk 240 gigabyte SSD I'll probably end up getting like a bigger one but I did my research and like with the Atomos you can do the Angel Bird ones um, which they're fairly affordable I mean they're not too bad I think I saw like a 500 gigabytes for 200 bucks which was in range but this this 240 gigabyte was only I think it was like 80 bucks on Adorama I'll link everything below I have an affiliate affiliate link for Adorama and Amazon so yeah I'll link everything in the affiliate links uh, below so I bought this instead of the angel bird because this is way more affordable and so yeah I just got this set up now what I didn't get that I realized I have to go out and buy is the piece to connect the SSD drive to my computer so I can actually edit the footage and get the footage off the solid off the solid state drive so I have the drive but I just need to get the um, piece to connect because I don't I need a card reader basically for SSD what's not in the box what I did order what's on which is on back order is the new Sennheiser I think it's X W S D or X S W D the new wireless uh, Sennheiser lab mic kit that I needed a lab kit for the longest time I've been using my Sennheiser MKE 400 mic and uh, I've been wanting to upgrade to like a lab system so uh, it was between that and the road link and the road link is cool but I always like Sennheiser mics and I feel like the quality from Sennheiser is a little bit better than road link and a little bit smaller and less obtrusive so right when Sennheiser came out with that new uh, wireless lab system for like 350 bucks I jumped on it uh, but it is on back order on Adorama so I have to wait for that to come in hopefully that'll get here before I go to Vegas at the end of the month at WPPI uh, update I will be at WPPI in Vegas um, 
yeah, I am planning on doing a hotel room shoot. And uh, I'm not doing like a workshop. That's kind of the workshop I'm doing is a, a hotel shoot room. So if you want details about that, if you want to be a part of that, send me an email. I'll, e I'll put my email address uh, in the link below. So if you want to be a part of that shoot, a part of that workshop type of thing. I'm only limited to like five people per shoot. So I think I'm trying to do two shoots for two different days. I'm trying to get two models lined up. Um, for the Vegas hotel room shoot. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Like I said, if you wanna be a part of that, if you wanna come through for that, um, send me an email and I'll get you the information, the details. I just haven't quite figured it out. I'm like last minute. Um, also, uh, big announcement, just had a baby, had my second daughter. Uh, her name is Courage Kairos Adore Haynes. My wife came out with that name. We're gonna call her CK for short. So yeah, I just had a new baby girl. She's upstairs sleeping in the house. What else? Um, like I said, I'm working on a review for this monitor. I got like tons of new videos that are coming out soon. So yeah, just stay tuned. Uh, and yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you guys the new kind of stuff I got, why I got it, and uh, what, what else is going on in my life. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Come on, talk to me below, let me know. Oh yeah, also, I don't know if you guys know, I started a new live channel. I got a new Elgato cam link for that. Um, yeah, I got a new, a new, should I get it? I'm not gonna get it. Anyways, yeah, I got a new Elgato Cam Link 4K. Uh, so I upgraded my streams on my live stream channel. So yeah, upgrades across the board for 2019, all right? We're getting better this year, okay? Um, the Struggle Studio is still a struggle. It is what it is, all right? But uh, anyways, like I said, let me know what you think. Kind of highlight me in the comments below. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next video. I'm not sure what it's gonna be, but it's gonna be something. Peace out. Hey, how you doing? Don't mind me, just talking, talking to the world. Yeah, just, you didn't see this, okay? This is too tight, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, don't.